what it everybody, it's your boy RER, and welcome back to RER Food Reviews. And today, I'm doing a Long John Silver Mukbang. That's right, I'm doing a Long John Silver Mukbang today. Um, so, I got a little bit of everything. I got the chicken, I got the fish, I should have got the shrimp, but you know, I'm going to just stick with the, the chicken and the fish. I've never had the chicken before, and plus also got one of the deep fried Twinkies which I've never tried from them. The last time I had like a deep fried Twinkie was I think at the Texas State Fair. It was bomb.com. So just give me one second to set this up. I'm gonna plate this, plate this baby. And we're gonna see what Long John Silver talking about. And then we're gonna get into a, a little nice little story time. You know what I'm saying? So just give me one sec. Pow. No need for the plate. Had to do a little breakdown. So as you can see right over here, I got hush puppies. I got some fish and chicken. I don't know which one is each because they all battered up and they look the same. Got some french fries and I got their deep fried Twinkie and I can't wait to see what that is. And I got me some water, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, you know what I'm going to do first? We're going to get in a quick moment of prayer, all right? Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me stronger as a person, stronger as a man. I pray that you, I pray that you Feed those that go hungry. As I pray that you please find them something to eat. And your holy grace is mine. I'm going to pray. Amen. I love you, Father. So, so man, I haven't been a Long John Silver in a long time. Let me really get a nice little, let's try to get a good thumbnail with this. You know what I'm saying? Oh, get your ass in there. <laughs> that should be close enough for jazz. Anyway, so... Like I said, it's been a long time since I've been to Long John Silver, and uh, let's just go ahead and get straight into the story time. So today's story, Tom, which I'm so excited because there's a lot of story times, I mean, a lot of stories that I can tell you guys, but we're going to get into the first time, uh, first time, <laughs> the first time I got my, my, my ass whooped like official, you know what I'm saying? Like, not from like, you know, fighting or like that, my daddy busted my ass, all right? So, anyway, mostly if anybody's like 80s babies, 70s babies, or, you know, even some in the mid-90s or whatnot, uh, know about getting whoopings when you were younger, you know what I'm saying? This is the chicken, by the way. Everybody knows that whenever, back in them days, when you used to get whoopings and stuff, all it ever did was make you better as a person. You did something wrong, sometimes a switch or a belt house shoe or a chancla. <laughs> I just set you straight, man. But nowadays people, millennials, even mostly millennial kids, and the parents that have uh, millennial babies, they don't even they don't do that anymore. Little Timmy gets a timeout instead of getting his butt busted. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's some people that still use the old school method. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but tough love. But, so anyway, back to me. So, my father lived close by Dallas. So, I used to go, we used to go, me and my brother used to go stay with him in the summer. This got to be the fish right here. We used to go stay with him in the summer. So this one summer, me and my brother, I had to go spend the summer with my dad. And everybody's got that favorite cousin of theirs that they always got to love, they love to hang out with. And my cousin, my cousin Chad was my, my, my dad's, one of his favorite nephews. He was his road dog. When we wasn't around. So on this one particular day, my daddy had to go run some errands, right? So it's me and my brother, my cousin Chad, and my stepmother Robin. So my daddy leaves my 
stepmother Robin, she's in the living room. She's knocked out of sleep. My cousin Chad, he makes, he said, hey, let's watch a movie. And it was in the 90s, so this had to be like 93, 94, I don't know. Probably 93. Yeah, hey, your daddy got Terminator 2. Let's watch it. Like, okay, fine. Yeah. So my brother, he went to go put on some popcorn. And, you know, I'm just crunk because we about to watch a movie. We watching in my daddy's bed, in my daddy and, and my stepmother Robin's bedroom. So Chad, he go get the movie, right? And like I said, it was VHS. So Chad, he pulls out the movie. I'm sitting on my bed. I'm sitting on the bed. My brother, he goes, you know, pop the popcorn. He brings in. So anyway, Chad puts in the movie. We sitting on the bed. We eating popcorn in my daddy's bed, which everybody knows that's a big fucking no-no. So anyone. So we wait for the movie to come on. We just tearing this popcorn up. It's popcorn all over the bed. My my um stepmother Robin, she didn't really. She was like the cool stepmother. Like she just let us do whatever we wanted. So anyone, the movie comes on right. Test it. Granted, I even seen this myself. When Chad put this movie in, it said Terminator Two. Okay. When that movie popped in. It turned out to be a motherfucking flick. <laughs> turned out to be a flick. A.K.A. a porn. That was the first time in my life I ever seen a flick before. I was so startled. Startled. I think I can remember my gesture. I mean, when it came on, I was eating popcorn like this hush puppy. I was like... You know, <laughs> so anyway, so my brother's like, this ain't no Terminator 2. What is this? We didn't, none of us knew what the fuck it was. It was, it was some ebony stuff. I don't know. Chad got up and he went to the bathroom, he went to the bathroom. This fool here must have heard my daddy truck pull up, right? He had to hear it. This fool must have got a notification. He got his ass up and he went to the bathroom, right? So my daddy, he lived in one of them double wide trailers. And you know, if you lived in one of them trailers, the front part of the trailer, there's an a exit door. And in the back part, there's an exit door. Well, my my daddy's bedroom was in the back and he, he was near that exit door. So he pulled up and all I know... <laughs> Is it still eating popcorn? Because I guess we was sitting, but we was thinking like, oh, like the movie's about to start. You know what I'm saying? Like opening credits. I don't know. All I know is that that door swung open, right? That door swung open. And first thing my daddy saw was his two sons eating popcorn in the bed with a damn flick on. I mean, this will turn into the goddamn devil like that. I'm telling you. What the fuck are y'all watching? Da, 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 da. I'm about to whoop y'all ass. Oh my God. Oh, and instantly. You know how like you about to get your ass whooped and you instantly just start crying before you even get whooped? Man, and plus my daddy had never whooped us yet. Like, you know, we was always, you know, he never had no reason to whoop us. That was the first time I ever got asked whooped by my daddy, and this is how it went. He told us we were about to get our ass whooped. We instantly started crying. Fuck the popcorn. He went over there. He pulled out. He went behind the TV, unplugged, um, yanked that hoe. Unplugged the, the stitcher cord. He got his knife. Cut the ends off that bitch. This nigga made a, <laughs> he made a nuclear weapon, man. This fool fucked around and made a goddamn super belt. He made, he whooped our ass with an extension cord. That was the first time I ever got lit up by a extension cord. Like, seriously. I'm telling you, he cut the ends off that bitch. It was so clean. He took out his knife, cut that hoe, and he just whooped both of our ass. It didn't even matter who was first. Who, it didn't even matter. We both got our ass whooped at the same time. And if you ever got whooped with an extension cord before, one lash of that hoe, it'll get your mind right.
It was like some Kunta Kente shit, for real, for real. Man, we was getting whooped all over, fool. And the whole time we getting our ass whooped, this nigga Chad is in the bathroom. It's not right, bro. It ain't right. This nigga Chad, he's like, where Chad at? That thing, he's like, now he said, I mean, he said, he said, y'all gonna take a bath and y'all go on a bed, nigga. It's like fucking one, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, and we, he just whooped us and we going to bed. Then this nigga Chad, he said, where Chad at? Chad in the bathroom. This fool Chad, I don't know why this nigga didn't get his ass whooped. It's his motherfucking fault. He fucking put the flick. He put the, the he he the one that put that shit in. Nigga didn't even get a whoop. I made that nigga go up front with my my um stepmother. He got on her ass. Made us take a bath. That fucking hot ass water was stinging the shit out of our wound. That shit fucked me up, bro. Whole time in the show, I'm like, damn, I want my mama. <laughs> but you know, after it was all over, he told us that he loved us. <coughs> He never wanted us to be exposed to no crazy shit like that. <sighs> Refreshing. But see, I guess what I'm trying to say in conclusion is, even though we were young and innocent and we didn't know what the fuck was going on, we had a whole bunch of violations. Hmm. Eating in the fucking bed. That was a negator. He never thought in his life he was going to see us fucking looking, seeing some flick shit. We didn't know either. You know, and I guess, like, back in them days, like, yeah, of course, you could record over, like, movies and shit. Like, honey, I shot the kids, and then you got uh, uh, some kind of crazy porn name that's really the, the main title. But, <coughs> the ass whooping got our mind right. Real talk. <laughs> Just can't believe this nigga Chad to get his ass whooped. But I'm just saying, like, if that was like a millennial kid, <clears throat> would they got their ass whooped like, <clears throat> like bad like that? <clears throat> Fuck no. Nah. Little Timmy would have got fucking. Around it, cell phone took it away. Some other kind of crazy ass shit. All that stuff ever did was just make make us uh, better, conscious and aware, and uh, you know what I'm saying. It just made you more conscious and aware, and uh, more disciplined. You know what I'm saying. To never ever do no dumb shit like that again. That's why I'm glad I grew up in the era that I did. Made me a better man than I am today. Don't get me wrong. There's some millennials out there that got good heads on their shoulder. Raised very, very right. But, uh. Some of them poor babies just don't know. That one ass whooping changed my life forever. Obviously, because I wouldn't be telling you this story right here today. I mean, I remember that shit fragment from fragment. The whips, the screams, me and my brother both looking at each other like we just fucked up. He whooping us and popcorn flying in the fucking air. Me and my brother trying to go to sleep at fucking one o'clock in the afternoon while this nigga Chad is in the living room watching TV with my daddy and my sister and, and my uh and my my my, my stepmother laughing. Tell my brother, man, ask him can we come out. Told us to take our ass back to bed or he was gonna whoop us again.
fucked up, man. I know a lot of people with they're thinking, they're like, oh man, that's fucking child abuse. Nah. I want no child abuse. That was just being real with your kids. I understand that some people, when they whoop their kids, they lose control. And they forget about the harm that it's inflicting on their kids and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody really knows their own strength. But I knew my father. He knew his. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but there's some people that's unstable that got kids and stuff. They will probably raised the way that I was. And whenever they whoop their kids, they fucking lose. They out of sight, out of body. Fuck around and whoop them so bad that they kill them. But um, everybody's raised differently. I didn't even need that ketchup, man. My favorite part of Long John Silver is these little treasure crumb things right here. I love them suckers. Oh man, let's get to the main treat. But yeah, man, that was the first time I had, first time I got my ass like officially my ass straightened. And it wasn't even a fucking fault, Chad. You bastard. Alright, so this is Long John Silver's deep fried Twinkie right here. If you've had deep fried Twinkies before, let me know down in the comment section below. Let's see what this bad boy is talking about. That shit hit, man. So that was my bigger fuss is all about. Mm. They think of everything. So that was so good. I have fun. Also, man, I have to do Long John Silver again. But they just don't never like coming out with shit. That, everybody, is my Long John Silver mukbang uh, eating show. Uh, it's not a review. It's just an eating show. I'm so glad that I paid homage to Long John Silver. That in the book. So thank you, everybody, for watching my Long John Silver mukbang. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you don't like this video, hit that thumbs down button. It don't matter. I'm going to love you like I always have. It's your boy RDR, and like I always say, man, food is a gift, so please give thanks. It's your boy RDR. I'm signing out. God bless y'all. Take care. <sighs> Refreshing. It's your boy RDR, and I'm signing out. God bless y'all. Take care already. Love y'all. See y'all soon.